ICOs, initial coin offerings. Remember those moments in 2017 and 2018 when people were investing their money in ICOs in order to 10x their gains when they would list on exchanges? Well, those days are probably long gone, but are they really? Initial exchange offerings, IEOs, are here to take over and we've seen more and more and more and more being launched every single time on various exchanges, especially on the bigger ones out there. So are they really the safe haven? The fact that these tokens are listed on these exchanges from the get-go, are they really the safe haven? Stay tuned in this video and find out. This video has been sponsored by Bityard. Bityard is a new Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange whose main focus is to enable simple trading for its users, even with complex contracts. The registration process takes less than 90 seconds and all you need is an email or phone number to get started. Every account gets access to the daily mining feature where just for logging in every day and clicking the mine button, you earn free cryptocurrency. As part of their promotions going on currently, you can earn cryptocurrency quickly and easily by claiming 1 USDT just for creating your account, then 2 USDT for verifying an email and participating in their demo trading feature. Everybody has the ability to participate and be an affiliate with Bityard at bityard.com forward slash KOL. You can get your own affiliate link. You also have the ability to demo trade with 100,000 USDT. So check out Bityard Exchange. So this is what happened with the sad era of the ICOs. Australia, $50 million ICO shuts down in accordance with regulatory requirements. Korean ICO project shuts down, says negative perceptions of crypto made the business impossible. Crypto firm that raised $12.7 million with ICO admits it ran out of money and closes the doors. Can we still trust crypto? Or will we get wrecked? Hey, if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Claudio and this is Crypto Exchange, the channel where I do crypto news, reviews, tutorials, and interviews. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and enable notifications to not miss the next video I upload that may interest you. Wait, did I just say get wrecked? What am I talking about? So, taking a look at the IEO era, we've got Kava pumping when it got listed on the exchange. On the 25th of October 2019 and then later that day it went from 71 cents to 164. That's the first pump. The second pump after the retracement from 73 cents all the way up to $1.07. Then it retraced again to 77 cents and another pump to $1.00. 38 cents. So what's going on with these IEOs? Why are they pumping? Is the hype back? And just when you thought that the hype is all gone, here's another example. We take a look at Wazirx, another IEO. It launched on the 5th of February of 2020, trading at more or less 5 cents only for the price to go to over 16 cents and that's over 3x gains in just two days after a major retracement all the way down to close to 5.6 cents we see another humongous pump all the way up to close to 23 cents so what's going on with these ios can we trust them why are they pumping so much so is crypto really dead or was it always alive and kicking? And just when we thought that the gains were repetitive with every new IEO, we were very surprised. We get a big high, then we get a new low. And when we hope to get a new high, we get an even bigger low and an even bigger low. And there's no end in sight. So it all depends on which end are you on the receiving end or on the giving end 
and giving and more giving. So, the conclusion is IOs can be good or can be bad. Thank you for watching this video.